Is that the turkey? Yes. Your pardon. Sir. What do you want? Well, you know. By the power vested in me by the Constitution of the United States, I hereby pardon you. I'm dropping off the turkeys. Yeah. Where should I put them? CJ's CJ? office. I definitely put them in CJ right Craig's here. office. CJ Craig's it's right office. there. Yeah. Well, CJ's office is right here. Down CJ the handles all uh, the birds. CJ. Yeah. Okay. And Morton, Miss Craig is gone for the night, uh, and her office is secure, so you should feel free to let the turkeys out of the cage and allow them to, you know, roam freely as they were meant to do. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. The turkeys came. Wait, 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 I'm coming. I didn't think you were here yet. I am. The turkeys came. So Carol said. Excuse me. Josh and Toby and Sam said they should go in your office. Yes. These are the turkeys. Turkeys for what? You weren't here last year. When? Over Thanksgiving, you were sick. Yes. Every year on Thanksgiving, the president pardons a turkey. He pardons turkey? Yeah, and it's your event, so. Why are there two? I'm sorry? Why are there two turkeys? Customarily, the press secretary decides no. which of the two finalists is more photogenic. Their names? I don't want to know their names. This one's Eric, and this one's Troy. Eric and Troy. Yeah. And I'm to choose the more photogenic of the two to receive a presidential pardon. Yeah. OK, I have actually a master's degree from the University of California at Berkeley. That's a good school. Yeah. They eat grain, or really whatever's lying around, and Troy doesn't like to be touched. Long as you've got an oven that'll go to 320 degrees, you take your turkey, which has been soaking overnight in water, salt, coriander. Excuse me, sir. Toby would like to see you. Should I send him in? Yes. Yeah, well, that's obviously a question for you, sir. She was asking me. I'll step out. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Hey. Before anything else, I was hoping I could impose on you for as much information as you can spare about making a turkey. This is some preemptive psychological thing? Yeah. That's not going to work. On Thursday morning, the president will make his Thanksgiving proclamation in the Rose Garden. Among the guests will be members of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America and members of Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America. Will you be leading them in song? I'm sorry? The press secretary usually leads the kids in song. Yes, of course, I will be leading them in song, for I am the press secretary. <laughs> Thank you. What kind of stuffing are we talking about? Cornbread, oysters, water chestnuts, and andouille sausage. You're going to cook on the inside or separate? Inside. Better make sure it cooks. It'll cook. If it doesn't cook, people are going to get sick. It'll cook. You need help with the song? I don't need help with the song, Donna. The INS guys will be here in a minute. Yeah. What do you mean? I need help with the song. Is it the usual song? There's a usual song. We gather together. That's the song. That's the usual song. So you know it. Everybody knows it. I don't know it. <sighs> Didn't you go to elementary school? Yes, right before being a National Merit Scholar. The Madrigals will know the song. The Madrigals? A couple of guys wearing costumes and playing the lute. It's no problem. <laughs> You're not the one conducting a musical on CNN. You want me to teach you the song? Yes. Now? Not now. Right now, I have, you know, actual serious work to do. OK. Showtime, guys. I've observed you under a number of conditions, and this is the final. I can't have you wigging out in the president's face. I just don't like the photo, so. You both did fine. Troy? I want you to know it was neck and neck, but I'm giving it to Eric. You were in it right to the end, but it's the flapping thing you got going on. I'll tell you what's of some concern to me, that I've been talking out loud this whole time. That's very unsettling. OK, Eric, here we go. Come on, Eric, let's go. The guy said to support him under his hindquarters. Well, I don't know where his hindquarters are, and I'm not going to look that hard. Come on, Eric. Come on, down. <whistles> Troy. This time of the year, there should be a hotline you can call with questions about cooking turkeys, a special 800 number where the phones are staffed by experts. There is. What do you mean? The Butterball Hotline. 
Butterball has a hotline? Yeah. It's an 800 number. The phones are staffed by experts. Are you kidding me? No. God, I'm sorry. I love my country. Charlie, get me the number for the Butterball hotline. Did you just decide you were going home for Thanksgiving? No, but I thought I was going to Connecticut. Why? Because that's where the house is. Your mom sold the house 10 months ago. I made a mistake. You forgot where your mother lives? I'm from Connecticut, OK? And like a swallow to Capistrano, I have to. <clears throat> just find me a flight, would you? And call Russell Angler at the State Department and tell him I need to see him about the kid in Georgia. He'll know what I'm talking about. I'm telling your mother you forgot where she lives. You're the girl I made fun of in elementary school. You know that? Yes, I do. Mrs. Lanningham, can I look at a copy of the Thanksgiving proclamation? Sir, why don't you use the intercom? Because Cause you don't know how to use the intercom. I was standing at the door. Maybe after the ceremony, you can get one of the fourth graders to come in and show you how to use the intercom. I can hang in there with the best of them, sir, but somewhere during the discussion of anise and coriander and the other 15 spices you like to use to baste a turkey, I simply lost consciousness. You know that line you're not supposed to cross with the president? I'm coming up on it. No, no. Look behind you. Yes, sir. Would you like to leave? With your permission, sir. Damn right, with my permission. Yes, sir. It's the brine that keeps the meat soft, lady. You soak it overnight in water, salt, sugar. 17 kinds 17 of... 17 kinds of spices, including... Anise and coriander. Now you can go. Thank you, Mr. President. Caraway seeds, thyme, cornbread, oysters, water chestnuts, and andouille sausage. Sounds good. Yeah, but... Toby seemed to indicate that you had to be careful if you cooked it inside the turkey, because in some cases it doesn't cook, and when that happens, people get sick. Yeah. You know about this? I've heard about it. As I thought Toby might be playing with me. Maybe he is. But you said you've heard of it. Maybe I am, too. Nah, uh, you don't have that kind of wit. Yeah. Welcome to the Butterball Hotline. What the hell is this? Hello? How can I help you, sir? Well, first let me say, I think this is a wonderful service you provide. Thank you. May I have your name, please? I'm a citizen. I'm sure you are, sir, but if I have your name, I can put your comments in our customer feedback form. I'm Joe Bethersonton. That's one T and with an H in there. And your address? Fargo. Your street address, please? Zip code, Fargo, North Dakota, right now. My street address is 11454. Pruder Street. And it's very important that you put street down there because sometimes it gets confused with Pruder Way and Pruder Lane. It's apartment 23R, Fargo, North Dakota. Zip code 50504. Thank you. Your voice sounds very familiar to me. I do radio commercials for products. And how can I help you? Stuffing should be stuffed inside the turkey. Am I correct? It can also be baked in a casserole dish. Well, then we'd have to call it something else, wouldn't we? I suppose. If I cook it inside the turkey, is there a chance I could kill my guests? I'm not saying that's necessarily a deal breaker. Well, there are some concerns. Two main bacterial problems are salmonella and Campylobacter jejuna. All right. Well, first of all, I think you made the second bacteria up. And second of all, how do I avoid it? Make sure all the ingredients are cooked first. Saute any vegetables, fry sausage, oysters, etc. Excellent. Let's talk temperature. 165 degrees. No, see, I was testing you. The USDA calls for turkeys to be cooked to an internal temperature of 180 to 185 degrees. Yes, sir. I was talking about the stuffing, which you want to cook to 165 to avoid the health risks. OK. Good testing. Do you have an accurate thermometer? Oh, yeah. It was presented to me as a gift from the personal sous chef to the king of auto sales in Fargo. Phil Beharnd, the man can sell a car like, well, like anything. Very good, sir. You have a good Thanksgiving. And you do, too. Thanks a lot. That was excellent. Charlie, my father gave this to me, and his father gave it to him. And now I'm giving it to you. Take a look. The fully tapered bolster allows for sharpening the entire edge of the blade. It says PR. I thought I knew them all, but I don't recognize the manufacturer. Yeah, 
These were made for my family by a Boston silversmith named Paul Revere. Mr. President. I'm proud of you, Charlie. 